surprise, you know, uh, because this is what I've been trying to portray to Ghanaians for almost a decade now, you know, because uh, my first step in the Ghanaian music scene was to portray, you know, different jer, different type of jer into our industry and make our music go international, you know, because I personally believe that our local dialect is very limited. You can even count, and I have facts, because you can, you know, the, the, uh, the amount of Ghanaians or the number of Ghanaians outside, it is, it is very limited, do you understand? And that makes our dialect a bit limited not to cross boundaries, do you understand? Even if you have to look for the, uh, with the likes of uh, Osibi Saba and stuff, they were not singing much in tree, do you understand? All their song, we are going, it's English, and it's very audible and people really understand it. So it sells our music outside. You understand? But apart from them, we hardly see artists like them. And even if we have, Ghanaian industry hardly push them. As top critic as Marco Kwekumanti, he's not, he's not I've, I think I've seen him only twice. You know, I remember I went to interview at uh, the multimedia station and then I met him. We didn't even have, you know, any conversation at all. He just said, oh, hi, how are you? That's it, you know? And uh, like I'm saying, I mean, I was, uh, he's, he's, he's a top critic. Marco Kwekumanti will not just wake up and say, blue is white. Ever since the mentor time, you know, I remember when he used to judge people and if you don't have it, he would tell you that, my brother, you don't have it. You need to go and work out. So people have known him as to, you know, that person that always speaks his mind, you know, and very vigilant, very vibrant, you know, his judgment is always pure and clean. He said that I'm very consistent when it comes to dance and brand which is diluted, is very, it makes it very hard to... It, I mean, a diluted brand is hard to market. You know, it's not marketable, which is so true. Because now if you judge Jupiter from the other dance artists, you can tell that I am doing 100% dance all and not mix up. So they try to make it look more commercial and, and, and name it Afro dance all. We have nothing like Afro dance all. We have, for instance, can I say we have a, a, a Afro R&B or Afro hip hop or whatever, do you understand? Dance all is dance all, it's a gem. If you want to do it, just do it 100%. You know, so whatever my Coco Group Mantis said, I'm not, I'm not too surprised because he knows music and I'm expecting nothing, you know, than whatever he said, you know, because he knows music. He's, he's, he's more like, I mean, how do we call it? Um, you know, he's, he's a veteran when it comes to high life music. Do you understand? But the statement that he made actually made me understood that, yeah, he understands music, you know, and listen to, you know, he has broad ears. Do you understand? So I really appreciate it and I'm, as a, 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 how do you call it, a vital or very important personality in our music industry, for him to say such statement, honestly speaking, I'm privileged and I'm humbled that he made people understood what different jazz also, you know, stands for. You can't just dilute things and go away with it like that. Farewell, for Ghanaians will accept it that way, but listen, just stick to whatever you are doing. If it is high life, high life. If it is Afrobeat, do Afrobeat. If it is hip hop, do hip hop. If it, if it is hip life, hip life, and if it is dance or to do dance or. So I'm not all that surprised, honestly speaking. As far as, you know, music, dance or music is concerned, as far as my career in con is concerned, I'm, I'm not all that surprised. But, well, I'm, I'm happy. I you know, made it clear out there for people to understand, you know. He actually put more attention on me. You know, inviting more ears to have a listen to my creative and my creativity. You know, people to, he's rather throwing challenge on people who misunderstood what dancehall really is and what people are doing and term it as dancehall. So that they will get the chance to listen to what I'm doing and they will understand clearly that I can match any dancehall artist from Jamaica or the worldwide. Do you understand? So for me, it's, it has nothing to do with pressure, but I feel more like it's like putting attention on me more for the public to give me more ears. You know, and honestly speaking, I mean, I've been doing, like I said earlier, and I've been doing dancehall since 2000 and and 8, 9, 10, 11, to, to 2017, you know, almost getting into a decade. Do you understand? So, Makoko Mante said it all. He said, I've been consistent with dancehall music, which is so true. Do you understand? So, I feel like it's not pressure because regardless, whatever, I will still produce proper dancehall music. You know, it's rather putting challenge on people to give me more attention. And if they really, like, they are proper or uh, pure dancehall lovers, they have to follow me to get a proper dancehall music. Yeah, definitely. <laughs>